welcome back to the channel. What a beautiful day for detailing. Let's come out back and check on this hood here. This is uh, a test hood that we have, quite a few pace wax, and um, they've been sitting out in direct sunlight and all sorts of weather. Well, lots of traffic back here, they're dirty. So what we have on the hood is Fireball, Graphene. This is a show car wax, Art to Shines, uh, liquid wax crystal. We also have built Hammer Speed Wax. Gion Q2 Wax. We also have the 75th Anniversary Ceramic Graphene Paste Wax from Turtle Wax. We have a Ceramic Wax from Boucher's. We have a Graphene Wax here, Mart to Shine. We also have a uh, Boutique Wax from Fireball. This is Alien's Blood. That's an SiO2 Wax. So what we're going to do is a wash process, like somebody would every week or two with their vehicle, some just about every day. So we'll spray it with this pH neutral snow foam. And I also have a pH neutral mix, a shampoo mix, ready to wash with a wash mitt. So we'll let this foam dwell for a few minutes, just like we would on the car, 45 minutes, so we can break down, emulsify, maybe even lift some of the grittiness and dustiness from the surface so we can rinse it free before we do the contact wash. So we have about four minutes into the foam dwelling on the surface. Let's rinse thoroughly. Without even moving the camera, we can already see some areas that uh, are a little flat, some that are still beating like crazy. So let me grab you guys, bring you in closer, and we will inspect each section just after this step. Then we'll wash uh, the panel as well. Uh, not quite as hydrophobic as the first day we put it on here, but uh, it's still there. The Art to Shine Crystal Wax, that is one that sheets, and it's... It's sheeting a little bit slower than the first day, but it's still doing its job. It's still there. How about the built hamber wax? Now that is uh, a polymer wax, still doing fantastic. Let's head up here to the Gion Q2 wax. Again, still holding up incredible. Back down here to the graphene wax from Turtle Wax. Took a little bit of a hit, but it's still there. There's three that really stand out to me. Here is the uh, Boucher Ceramic Wax. That, that one took a good beating within the last two weeks. Here is Obsidian. This has graphene in it. This one here uh, is a little bit weaker. It's still there. And then we have the Boutique Wax. Uh, this is the Alien's Blood. Still looking fantastic. There's three or four areas that are still, still going strong, and the rest have faded a bit. Now, let's do uh, a wash. So we went from the foam process, the pre-wash, to the wash with a wash mitt. All right, that will do it. I can feel the wash mitt gliding back and forth on the panel in each of these areas. Let's rinse thoroughly and have another close look. So after a foam and a wash, let's take a look at the Fireball Show Car Wax. Uh, still there, not quite as aggressive with the, the beating that it was the first day. Uh, so we have the Art to Shine Wax here. This is the Crystal Wax, sheeting just a little bit slower. If you guys are seeing something a little bit different than what I'm seeing in real person, let me know down in the comment section. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section. 
of each of these. Uh, built hamburgers still looking good. Let's move up to the Gian Q2. Now this this section looking fantastic. Still looking as strong as the first day we applied it. And here comes the shop manager taking a stroll out back to make sure we are working. Now she just has to go number one or number two. The Q2 wax from Gian still looking good. The obsidian wax uh, took a bit of a hit. Sheeting now more uh, evident compared to the beating it had when we first put it on there. Bouchures took a bit of a hit as well. And the graphene wax from Turtle Wax still hanging in there. So we have three or four that are still doing very well. And we will come back uh, every now and again and repeat this process until we have one man standing or one wax standing anyways. All of these sections uh, rather easy to, to dry off with uh, forced air, rather a leaf blower or from uh, an air compressor or a shop blower. So these three areas right here were the uh, easiest to dry off, and that would be the Q2, uh, the fireball wax, and then also the built hammer wax. When it comes to gloss and gloss hold, let's take some more readings now that uh, they have gone through a few weeks and the wash process. And there, surprisingly, are still that are in the 90s. So again, uh, some took a beating, some are still holding up. And uh, we, we don't really offer wax here. It washes off in a few weeks or so, but it's always nice to know if we de do need to go to a wax for maybe a collectible or a classic or antique with single stage, we will figure out here which one will last the longest. And if there's enough interest, we'll keep the series going, maybe do some more. Uh, but until then, this has been Brian from Apex Detail, and I'll catch you in the next video.